So, so the new MSc in Reproductive and Developmental Biology is, is basically aimed at teaching current cutting edge techniques and assays in developmental biology and reproductive biology. So things like CRISPR technologies, genomic editing, um, misexpression strategies, all the current things that we do in developmental biology to understand how embryos go from a single cell to a fully formed organism. And in the reproductive side, we're interested in fertility. So where does infertility occur? Why do things go wrong and how can we solve those problems? How can we help couples that can't conceive naturally have babies? And putting the two together is great because you, we've got expertise from the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary in the maternity unit. We have the Aberdeen Fertility Centre and we have staff at the Institute of Medical Sciences here at the university who are all leaders in these fields. So putting the two together is, seems to be a natural a progressive thing to do, get those expertise put together and hopefully the students will benefit. This type of course offers the opportunity to students to actually move into a field where there's a heavy demand uh, for practitioners. Once you have completed a course like the MSc, um, you are then able to basically sell yourself to clinics and have the opportunity to go and work not only in the UK, but anywhere in the world. Aberdeen's very big on research. So there's always research opportunities uh, working within the biological sciences field. We hope that this MSc will be a stepping stone for people that are interested in fertility or infertility to perhaps to progress further to then go into uh, in vitro fertilisation clinics. For developmental biologists, you ought to get an insight into not just how you go from a single cell to a fully formed organism, but you'll also get the context of how the mother works properly and how the baby forms inside and all the different interactions that are going to occur. So hopefully it's a nice global program where the students will get uh, a bit of everything and come out and uh, they can go into m multiple fields, you can go into IVF clinics, you can go into clinical embryology, you could go into PhDs, research, research and development, those sort of areas. We have the potential to allow the students to go into the fertility centre for at least a full day placement um, and possibly other projects as well. Uh, to see what goes on in a fertility centre, to sort of, as opposed to seeing what's on TV, you actually get to see it yourself and actually handle it, and then you're taught by people that are experts. The students that come here, they will get to spend a full day with us in the clinic. That will allow them to see virtually everything that we do within the laboratory. We would choose days where we're going to be at our busiest, so it's not going to be a case of bringing them in, them in when it's quiet. We'll make sure that there's lots for them to see when they actually come over here. There are lectures, there are some practicals, so wet lab practicals where they get experience with embryos in the labs. Um, they get placements in the fertility centre. There's exams, but there's also in-course assessments such as we, one of the ones we're, quite, we're looking forward to is having a debate. The students will then be given a, a, a task in that debate, whether they, it'll be an ethical debate, so a student will be asked to be for a certain point of view and other students will be on with different point of views and then the idea is that they come together and have a debate and we assess that. And we see there's no right or wrong answer, it's more just a getting them to understand the ethics and morals of developmental biology and reproductive biology. And so we have the expertise of the staff in the fertility centre together with the expertise of academic research staff who are all at the leading edge of their own fields in developmental biology and that's what makes it unique.